Last thing we have to show you. All right. This is the sequel to the Legend of Zelda: <gasps> Breath of the Wild. Here we go. Finally. Two years have passed since we first announced this game, and we've been unable to share anything with you in that time. However, development has been steadily progressing. For today, we've prepared some new footage to show a bit more of the game. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Here we go! Thank God. Here we go! Like Skyward, look at his hair though. He's got longer hair. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Because it's the same world, but we're gonna have some okay. sky stuff too. Look at his arm. He could use the stasis with his arm. He's got a flamethrower now. Water. Oh, he could do. Fly. Wait, he went. He went through the. He went through the land. Yeah, Hyrule Castle's going mm -hmm. up into the sky. Oh, shit. Just that high, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe not that high. <laughs> that can't be it. That's it. Oh, they're going to tease us so freaking hard if that's it. Oh, my God. 2022. 2022. We knew that, right? Oh, no. So, what did you think? This time around, the setting for the adventure has been expanded to include the skies above Hyrule. That's awesome, though. I'd like to ask you to wait a bit longer. We're okay. aiming for a 2022 release, so I hope you'll look forward okay. to it. Okay. 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 I'll take it. Christmas Thank you. 2022. Thank you. How was that? That's all for this oh. Nintendo Direct. You guys made me nervous. We are diligently <laughs> continuing they development. They had us in the first half, not gonna lie. <laughs> show today. I hope you'll continue looking forward oh to my what's God. in store on Nintendo Switch. Thank you for watching. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Bye. we got a little bit. I, I can be satisfied with that. <sighs> oh, my nothing. God. My heart was racing this whole time, though. Okay, Let's go back. Real quick, because I think Treehouse, everyone can kind of watch Treehouse on their own if they want. Uh, we're not looking to really stream the Treehouse too much. Um, but I do want to go back. Let's look at that Breath of the Wild 2 trailer again. Um, we can go back to other things as well, but I want to go to Breath of the Wild 2 first. All right. Here's the last thing we have to show you. Here we go. Let's let, let's review this a little more. D-Rob, I just want to play Breath of the Wild 2. Me too, man. Me too. We first announced this game. Me too. Unable to share anything with you in that time. However, development has been steadily progressing. For today, we've prepared some new footage to show a bit of the game. Please take a look. Oh, did I? Here we go. Okay. Let, let's see if we can analyze this a bit. So... Let's go back a bit. Does Ganondorf just look dead like, like he did before? Was there anything? Okay, so Link. So we know that Link is getting like new like arm powers, like something with his arm. Um, it's being infused with something here. I don't know if it, if it was Malice or if it was... Um, oh, yeah, let's watch it again. Because it looked like Malice was actually going on, on his look, arm. But yeah. in the trailer, in the first trailer, yeah. it was glowing. Yeah, yeah. So, evil. so what's the, and Zelda Falls, people were thinking Zelda would be playable, thinking people were Zelda would be playable, but I don't know. Look at this, Link, right off the bat, has longer hair, which he is cool. A little bit longer hair. like Kid Icarus. Yeah. <laughs> that was the first thing I thought. Yeah, it's, we're, we're getting some Skyward Sword vibes, of course. Um, he's got like a new garb, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Um... Get a little closer here. Yeah, look at his arm. Look how corrupt his arm looks. That's so sick. So I wonder... I wonder if his arm 
gets corrupted first Mm -hmm. and maybe there's something to it but then maybe over time you like heal your arm but get more powers or something that way um we got a cool like new garb going on here definitely again more like skyward sword vibes taking this to the sky the paraglider makes a return of course we can't have we can't not have the paraglider is that a new shield looks like a a new type of shield there Mm -hmm. we got some boots um well, I don't know if that's just part of the pants. <laughs> but hey, imagine if we had shoes as like another gear piece. That'd be pretty cool. Well, no. Yeah. Because we have like the sand like, boots and stuff. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. am I talking about? Yeah. I'm a bad analysis. Okay. analysis <laughs> A bad uh, <Analyzer>. analyzer. <laughs> I can't speak. Okay. What do we got going on here? Um, we can't really see much, but there's a lot of different areas in the sky, which is kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of different areas here. Um. So it makes me wonder, are, are these islands, are, were they on the ground originally? So like when Hyrule Castle rose up to the sky, yeah. did other random pieces of land just also rise up? Or is this kind of appearing from some other place, like from other higher up yeah. or maybe from like another dimension of some, some yeah, and you'd stuff? Have holes in the ground. Yeah, because then you'd have holes in the ground. Um, a lot of people were speculating we would get some underground cavern mechanics, mm-hmm. um, but... It looks like they decided to take it up to the sky. Or are we getting both? Mm-hmm. You know, Are they only showing the sky right now, but then later on? Because they were underground when they found yeah. the body mm-hmm. you know, with that big buffalo thing that they were riding on in the first uh, announcement, the first trailer. Some new, uh, new monsters here. New, um, looks like new guardian type things. Mm-hmm. Um, this kind of gives me like a... Here, let's go back. Oh, wow, that's really quick. How do I do frame by frame? Can you use the arrows? I was using the arrows, but it's doing five seconds at a time. Oh, it's five seconds. We'll work with it. Oh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, here we go. go. He kind of gives me like stone talus vibes a little bit uh, because he's got these two things on his shoulders. It looks like you might have to attack the things on his shoulders in order to yeah, like, in, in order to beat him. That's kind of the vibe he's giving me here. Sky Islands might be the new dungeons, maybe. Mm. Isn't it period key? Mail's here. Can I go back? Oh yeah. Uh, go to setting. Is there a setting thing? Yeah, um, that's okay. I, I won't. I won't like. Analyst Bilbo says. There you go. Mm-hmm. Howlnet to Al- analyst. <laughs> So more, uh, more Bokoblin camps. That's to be expected. Is there anything new with the Bokoblins here? They have a shield. They have these like little shield things up, which you don't normally see in the in the camps. Mm-hmm. Um, anything in the background worth noticing? Doesn't seem like it. Just all grass, trees. They're not really showing too much. We got Death Mountain back here, though, it looks like, which is pretty cool. So they are going to use the same world, which mm-hmm. I think was expected. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's a stone talus underneath the camp mm-hmm. oh shoot oh and they're protecting his weak point uh, that's okay. that, that must okay, be his okay. weak point and they're protecting it whoa <laughs> that's interesting wow that's kind of crazy the stone talus is the camp now yeah. that's insane that's really cool i like that a lot yeah here you go so look Mm -hmm. here his arm now is like glowing with that mysterious green glow that Mm -hmm. we still don't know much about Mm -hmm. but in the previous scene his arm was more like corrupted Mm -hmm. it had like the malice it was all like uh looked like coal even you know so but this looks like it's like maybe a fuse of like sheikah technology Mm -hmm. maybe going on his arm here so maybe he goes somewhere to restore his arm Mm -hmm. and then granting him these powers which we're about to see right now here um, here you go. So he's got the oh, stasis. Yeah. Sydney said, wait, did Zelda have long hair? Did she have long hair? Did she have long hair when she fell? Uh... No, put the short hair back on her. Let's see. However, show a bit more. It might be kind of quick. No. She has a short hair. Oh, thank God. It's a short hair. Yeah, <laughs> I, like I think that makes hair. sense. It's imperative to this analysis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, she still has a short hair. We good, we good. We chilling. 
All right, so the arm. Mm -hmm. We got the arm here. So he now, is he using his arm for stasis or is he using the, the Sheikah Slate? It looked like he used his arm. Yeah. It, lo it didn't look like he had the Sheikah Slate. It looked like he held out his arm and just did it that mm -hmm. way. So that's going to be the new quote-unquote Sheikah Slate that he has. Is your arm. <laughs> is the arm, yeah, yeah. Whatever this new arm mechanic we got going on here. It kind of went grayed out. I don't know if that's just part of the trailer or if that's part of the ability. Mm. We have this new flamethrower ability too. So it does this, but then it grays out and then it shoots forward. Mm. Um, flamethrower, this. So there was a mix hole. Whoa, there's a lot going on here. Let's go this. So flamethrower, which mm -hmm. is pretty cool. There's a new type of boss here as well, mm -hmm. hanging from like the the, the ceiling. Uh, I don't know if it's a boss or if it's just a normal type of enemy, but we are getting new enemies in this game, which is great. I think that make click hold the slider and move your cursor up. If you click and hold the slider in the video, you can scrub through at smaller time scales. Uh, I'm scrolling the the thing. Hmm. Click, hold the slider, and move your cursor up, I mean. Or press period or comma. They press were period or comma. Oh, period and comma. There you go. This this is what I want. Oh, my God. Period and Holy comma. This, this this is what we want. Here we go. We're going to be here for an hour. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I really um, I don't know if we know this enemy here. It's the arrow keys. Well, I tried the arrow keys and it and it didn't work. But period and co oh, I see. No, no, you got the yeah. yeah no, I, I see you, Bilbo. I see you. Gotcha. Period, comma, or the uh, um, the the thingies. I don't know if we know this type of enemy. Um, I don't recognize it, but I it's been a while. But we do have this flamethrower mechanic going on here with with it with the arm, which is really sick. Um, actually, wait. Maybe not. Here, here, here let, let me show you. Since you're going frame by frame, can uh -huh. you put the quality up? Yeah. Because I know you had it down because when we're like actually watching true. it, we're true. At, like 480 right now. Yeah, okay. let's put it to 1060. I wanted to keep it low. That way the stream actually went yeah. well here. But since we're going But now slow. we're doing frame by frame. Yeah, good call. Much beautiful. I wanted to make sure the stream would run. It's going to take longer though to load things. I go frame by frame. Like frame, by frame. Okay. Yeah, it seems. We're, we're, 20 was so bad. I know, but it was the only 720? thing. We could try it. We could try 720. Instead of 480. It's so slow. All right, fine. <laughs> the new <laughs> GPU is coming in. It's coming yeah. in soon. It's coming in soon. Here, let's do the arrow for right now. Here's what I want to show you. This arm, mm -hmm. he uses his right arm mm -hmm. to do stasis mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. But when he did the flamethrower, it looked like his left arm. Look at this. Wait, isn't he holding out a shield? He looks like a shield. Oh, you're right. He's holding a shield. But it's shooting fire? Or is that thing shooting fire at him? Let's see. Come on. No, he's shooting fire. Link is shooting fire. Look, see, it's, it's coming from... He's got some type of oh, dragon, dragon thing. thing. Okay. It's, is it attached to the shield? Oh, I see, I see. It looks like it's attached to the shield. Mm -hmm. He's got the shield up, mm -hmm. but he's got some kind of thing mm -hmm. there. Uh, so I don't know if it's attached to the shield, or maybe it's like some type of summon that mm -hmm. he can do. Maybe he did it with the arm, now, mm -hmm. and it's in front of him. And when he puts mm -hmm. the shield up, the flamethrower goes out. Maybe something like that. But that's interesting. It's a fire shield. Looks like a gun or staff or something. Yeah, yeah. Instead of shield. Look at that. Yeah, and, and it's shooting the fire. I see. Interesting that it's connected to the shield mechanic, though. Yeah. It, like, pops out. That's crazy. And he's doing a backflip here, dodging, which is pretty sick. Want to make sure we're not missing anything. Yeah, look at that shield. It's it's a, it's a, mm -hmm. it's definitely a new type of shield here that he's got. So it must uncover and maybe it comes out or mm -hmm. something. That's that's pretty sick. Um, <clears throat> is that his normal garb that he's wearing? It looks kind of yeah, different right? actually. Oh. It looks a little different. 
<clears throat> yeah, look at this. Look at the shield. This is it's so sick. You can see it clearer here. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this one. Mm -hmm. We got some like water mechanic. There's a mix between like liquid and a little bit of Rivali's Gale. Mm -hmm. uh, we could play this a little quicker here. So it goes into like a droplet like this. Are those were those two different things? Or is that him? He's the water, and he's shooting up. Yeah, I, I'm, it's it's hard to say because it, it, I can't imagine the water goes into like a gale like mm -hmm. this, right? Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> we'll get there, but oh, but we can actually get a little peek here of the. Oh. The islands again, a little more. There's not a lot going on on these islands here. <clears throat> we see just like a little bit here and there. Um, there's like little like structures. Uh, it makes me wonder if they're like new shrines. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you go to these islands, there's like a what you would quote unquote call a shrine, and then maybe it launches you up into some type of puzzle or dungeon, maybe, mm -hmm. and then you and then maybe you come flying back down, maybe or maybe it teleports you. Uh, I'm not sure. Oops, I did the. I did the wrong arrows. Crap. Uh, where are we? Here we are. I want to see this water droplet real quick again, but I can't. Here you go. There you go. It, so it's going up. Oh, come on. I hit the, I hit the wrong thing here. <laughs> I'm going to jump in to call my friends. Okay. But you have fun. Okay. Sounds good. I'll see you guys. Sounds good. Oh, sevens. Oh, uh, sevens to Nicole. Bye. Bye. Let me see here. I just want to get a good look at this water droplet here. So it looks like there's a... Uh, what do you think is going on here? Yeah, is it like an upgraded Rivali's Gale? But is this the same as what we see next? I, I think this is something different. Um, this little puddle here goes into like this little water droplet. It goes up like this, but then it goes into this. But it doesn't seem like it's the same thing. This definitely seems like a, an upgraded Rivali's Gale for sure. But is the water droplet... What is this thing doing? I wonder what the purpose is for this. Reminds, reminds me of the Sheikah Slate droplet that falls. True. It kind of does. That's that's a good point. And Cheese Burrito's here. And Nervous Nelly. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. That's kind of what we're... The water droplet, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it could be. Um, it could be maybe a way to teleport. Maybe it's a new way to, to teleport around instead of maybe the Sheikah Towers. Maybe you find these little puddles, and maybe your arm can, like, teleport you through the power of liquid or something. Now, something to keep in mind. Um, well, actually, hold on. Let, let, let's look at the rest of this first right here. Um, Link goes through through the land with the Rivali scale, turns into that liquid. Does he turn into liquid, or does he not? Here, let's do it a little faster. He comes through. Yeah, and look, he... No, it's different. This is different. This is different. Link is emerging from this little this little thing, um, but not in like a liquid form, not in like the little droplet. He looks around, which is pretty sick. He's got longer hair, which is also really cool. <laughs> and then he comes out, emerges from it like that. So it, this is definitely more of the Rivali's Gale, but I guess if you reach the bottom, it it kind of like it looks like a little bit like the liquid, but but he's not like if he forms into a droplet, this isn't showing him reforming from the droplet. That's that's the only thing uh, that I'm not sure about here. Um, whereas the in the previous scene, like there's a little droplet that seems to go up, um, but it doesn't make sense for the droplet to rise. Yeah, I don't think he's the droplet. No, it must be a different mechanic. I think the droplet is like bestowing a new power. Oh, that that could be something. Yeah, that's that's a good point. That's a good point. I, I could I could definitely see that too. Uh, Sydney's leaving. Oh, seven Sydney. Bye. Have a good uh, have a good rest of your day. 
Now look at this. We have a temple up here. There's definitely some kind of temple chilling up here. And I think you can kind of see a little bit more um, on some of these other lands here. There's like... Uh, it, it, it's hard to tell. I mean, I'm also in a really bad quality. If we go back to 1080 real quick in this frozen this frozen uh, image here. Um, temples. These, these temples might be the new shrines. Um, I don't know if we're getting full-on dungeons just yet, um, but it looks like we are going to be getting some type of new shrine mechanic uh, in the form of these more like ancient-looking temples, which is pretty cool. Um, it looks like there's a few more structures on this bigger island here. And then there's like all these like smaller ones, but there's always like some type of structure on there uh, on, on, on each island. So there's, there's definitely something going on uh, on each of these islands. It might be shrines. Uh, it might just be maybe just random areas. I feel like it wouldn't make sense to have all these floating islands if it, if it was just kind of like, oh, there's a Korok up there and that's it, right? I feel like there's definitely got to be something more to these floating islands. Oh, we can kind of get a better... Hold on. Here, let me, let me drop the quality again. Sorry. <laughs> Just to go back a bit. We, we got another, like, a little more of a sneak peek on the, uh, on the temple. A little bit. Is there anything we can see in this temple? Not really. They kind of hide it pretty well. Like, if there's anything in here, if there's, like, a treasure chest, uh, or if there's, like, some type of portal. Um, there's some kind of platform here. There's, like, a table. There's a table, and there's, like... There's something on this table, and I can't seem to uh, to see what, 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 what what's up there. Cheese Bruce says, can you imagine all that work for just a Korok? I know, right? Getting all the way up here just for a freaking Korok. That'd be ridiculous. Put the Korok on top of the temple, but then still have the temple. I'd be I'd be okay with that. <laughs> this music, uh, we'll we'll go back to the music and listen again. Um, the castle here is starting to break apart. It's rising. Hyrule Castle is now being lifted into uh, up into the sky. Not too high though, um, but may, may, maybe high enough. Maybe high enough where like all these other ones are probably going to be. Um, just as high you know it's not like they're going like super high in the sky i guess um they kind of want to still stay within the boundaries of the land I'm, I'm assuming um but it doesn't seem like there's anything of notice here in this image um like we're seeing like ruins and you know trees and this is kind of like a hyrule um like castle town right in front here so we're kind of looking at hyrule castle from like um uh from a southeast perspective i think because Hyrule Field looks like it's to the left here. So if you're looking on the map, we're kind of like towards the right, towards like uh, like Kakariko Village, um, maybe even like uh, the Laneru area, uh, like Zoro's Domain or something. Maybe not that far, um, but sort of around maybe like the Kakariko Village area. I think we're kind of looking at the castle uh, from this angle here. Um, but I don't really see anything of too too noticeable anything that's worth really pointing out it's just a lot of land i think the main focus of the scene is obviously to have hyrule castle rise from the ground uh into the sky but if this is an open world game as as the previous one um hyrule castle is now in the sky but what's underneath hyrule castle can we explore the hole that hyrule castle was in and is there any type of entrance or discoveries underneath Hyrule Castle at all? That makes me uh, curious. Again, obviously, we can't get a good shot, uh, a good image of that at all. Um, but it just makes me wonder, if all these lands are going up to the sky, um, what of the its or original placement in the land? It's just going to be all these like big like ditches? Is that it? Or are we going to get uh, like entrances to things? Um underground as well so we'll see we'll have to see they're definitely at least emphasizing more of uh new areas in the sky but we'll have to see what goes on uh in a future update uh if we're gonna anything in the ground and i think that's it um there's really nothing 
it's really hard to see if there's anything of note in this land. It doesn't seem like it. Um, <clears throat> and then 2022, that's it. 2022 is going to be our, uh, our, our our release date here. That's that's all we get. So, what did you think? This oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So so excited for this. I can't wait. Um, I wish they showed a little more. I do wish they showed a little more. The setting for the but has been we, I'll, I'll take what we can get. I'll take what we can get. It, it's it's enough to hold me over. We'd like to ask you to wait a bit longer. Yeah. We're aiming for a 2022 release. So, so just to just to kind of go full circle here, let's let's just watch the trailer one more time in full. Especially for those who are just tuning in, Cheese Burrito, uh, maybe D Rob, Nervous Nelly. <clears throat> Here's Breath of the Wild 2. This is what they teased. <clears throat> New music, too. So the paraglider returns, which is great. Link with the longer hair. I I'm really digging that. Yep, the stone talus with the camp on it. The arm, the stasis. The flamethrower, or the shield, the shield flamethrower thing. Being able to go through. That backwards music. That reverse music. I may try to tackle that another day and see if I can figure out a melody or something going on with that, uh, with that music. Because that'd be... I, I wonder, it like, what it is. Zelda. That was Zelda's tune. Do do do. That's it. Wow. I was here the whole time. I just didn't say anything. Okay, no problem, D Rob. <laughs> Looks like it has a lot to do with the, with the air. Yeah, so, for sure. Think? We're definitely this getting a lot of air. Setting for the adventure has been air gameplay. Include the skies above Hyrule. We'd like to ask you to wait a bit longer. Mm -hmm. We're aiming for a 2022 release. That's fine. So take to it. take your time. I want this game to be just as incredible, if not even better than Breath of the Wild. So I'm about it. I'm cool with it. Um, yeah, I think we're going to start... Uh